We're in the Louvre and we're looking at a late Jacques-Louis David, the intervention of the Saban women. And it was meant as a pendant to Poussin's earlier very famous rape of the Saban. David conceived the idea while he was in prison. Here we have Hercilia, who is now the wife of the Roman leader Romulus, the king of the Romans, and also daughter of the king of the Sabines. And she's watching her husband and her father about to kill each other. She steps in the middle with her children, his grandchildren, his sons, and says, stop. So right now we're looking at the Sabine Women by Jacques-Louis David, painted in 1799. This is a foundational story of the Roman Empire. When Romulus and his followers settled in the city of Seven Hills, they were mostly men, needing to populate the city. They abducted women from the nearby Sabine tribe. They took the Sabine women as their wives to the discontent of the Sabine men. Consequently, the Sabine men attacked the Romans. At that battle, the Sabine women bravely ran onto the field to prevent the deaths of their fathers, brothers, and husbands. Jacques-Louis David, 1748-1825, was an influential French painter in the neoclassical style, considered to be the preeminent painter of the era. In the 1780s his cerebral brand of history painting marked a change in taste away from Rococo frivolity toward a classical austerity and severity, heightened feeling harmonizing with the moral climate of the final years of the Ancien Regime. goes that the women are wooed by the husbands who treat them tenderly, the women do fall in love with their husbands, they have children, and then they're attacked by their former families, the uh, fathers and brothers, they attack the city hoping to get the women back. And now the women have to intervene and they interpose between their husbands on the one side and their fathers and brothers on the other side and make peace. So